I heard this in Germany, but it could apply around the world. There was a young woman who grew up in a family with a very successful dad, and there was a family company. And she, uh, after about five or six years of struggle, she was arranged to be bought out of the company, and she developed her own um, area of expertise in finance. So she built a very successful life, but emotionally, she's still caught. So her dad's planning a birthday celebration, and she is the one of the children who is most empathic, most compassionate. And so the birthday celebrations are falling on her shoulders and she's spending time on the phone, hours on the phone, complaining about this to her sister. Now, this is a story about a woman, but the same principle would hold with a, a male as well. Uh, that of like being unfree and not knowing how to free yourself. So there she is. Um, she's about in her 60s and she still hasn't found freedom just to be herself despite all this effort of finding, you know, a way to earn a living and cut from the family corporation. Now, the thing is, you know, if we go for our freedom, you know, the, the, in, in the East, they call it liberation, spiritual liberation. Uh, we will, that pathway of our freedom will bring us the best way to earn our living as well as the best way to be with ourselves and others. You know, it's, it's very simple in a way. You just have to learn to bond with your true self. Now, and by that I mean uh, your eternal essence. And when you bond with your eternal essence, the life you live will be one in truth and it will really help the collective. And also, you know, in the East, they would say it will free you from um, having to have lifetimes on this earth, which, you know, when we look around at our current situation might be kind of attractive. But so... I, I want to talk about how to bond with yourself. You know, there's a voice inside you or there are feelings inside you that are coming from your deeper self. They might be covered over with some distortions, but you will be aware of some kind of input that comes from deep inside yourself that you recognize as you and you know it might be overlaid with some confusions and you you know you might <laughs> you might have spent your life running from this but you can turn anytime anytime you can get interested in feeling into who you are and begin to speak more honestly You know, many of us just lie unnecessarily, you know, and, and really, I, you know, I'm so honest and in a way I say terrible things to people, but there's so much love in what I say and I'm so intent on helping to free them that they just uh, register it as um, loving. They don't fight it or most often they don't fight it. They just, it's sort of like going to the vet and letting the vet um, pull a thorn out of your paw. It's very similar to that, what I do with people. So, but any of us, any, any moment, we could just get down to ourselves a little more, just get down to the truth of ourselves a little more and just be, you know, clear, more honest um, with ourselves and others. And I'll tell you, it's a big relief. You'll go, wow, I could have done this before, but it's really good that you're doing it. And for this, you know, beautiful woman who's 
you know, has this good heart and, and feels like she's loaded up with uh, the obligations of her dad's celebration. Maybe she could just turn and speak more honestly, at, at least with herself. Mm. Because, you know, if we're helping people and our heart's not in it, it doesn't really do anybody good. It doesn't do us any good and it doesn't really do them. They, We can always feel the resentment. Um, if somebody's got the secret resentment underneath, we will feel it. And the other thing is, you know, it all comes back to you. So if you've given and you give re re resentment, <laughs> that's what will come back to you. Okay, bless your hearts. Now remember, keep going. Um, <laughs> All of us are just, you know, we're bumbling, you know, bumbling human beings. But I'll tell you, a, a pure heart, a true heart can move mountains. And, um, you know, we need, I feel we need honesty and compassion more than anything now. Okay, bless your hearts.